What is cracking guys, JP here again, bringing you another update of my 40 gallon reef tank quarantine system. So today, my order from Live Aquaria ORA, ORA finally arrived. All of these and this black new sponge filter are the new corals. I got four corals. Uh, first thing, this is the pink's bird's nest. Hot pink, the pointy one. I just put them in about 10 minutes ago, so they're not fully open yet, but they're looking very good already. To the right, this is the mint pavona. Very nice, different textures to the rest of the SPS. Give you a little bit of a nice reef tank, you know, instead of just all sticks. This will kind of give that nice flat uh, forward or pointing upward. Next thing is the yellow porites. Uh, a little bit to the front. Uh, this is a little bit of a weird one because it gotta have a high light, high flow uh, to make it yellow. Uh, this is not very common around reef keeping hobbyists I guess because I'll ask all around in my local area and they don't have this. Uh, the next thing is this crazy cool one. It's a ye yellow lantana coral, Montipora. Uh, it got yellow base, so yellow skin and blue polyps. Uh, different, uh, different texture also. It's a little bit stubby, but it all, all got this weird siding stuff. So different textures. So you're gonna give that nice reef look instead of just one coral, I guess different kind of textures so yeah let's get to the bags here uh, like I said the first one pink's bird's nest Seriatopora and then the next one is the mint pavona pavona frondifera and then yellow porites and the cool one is Marshall Island Lantana Montepora Hispida. So yeah, I got some classic corals, very easy, very easy to keep. So this should be uh, bulletproof. Uh, in the next few years, hopefully, I'm gonna start, you know, growing them nice, a big colony. Get them uh, around Iowa and maybe start fragging them for the locals. But like I said, these are beginners. Beginner corals should grow very easily and fast once they're acclimated. But hey, nothing's wrong with beginner coral, right? Uh, yeah, I'm excited for this one right here. This is very cool. All of these are very cool. Um, the only one that I found locally was like two hours away. And I don't want to drive for that long for just one coral. So nope. I'll just put them all in. I was looking for more of like a tan color, but I think this one is pretty nice because uh, it will glow better in the blue lights. This this actually glows in the blue light yellow, like a you know yellow color coral. So yeah, different textures makes it a more reef look, right? So that is for the quick updates. Thanks for watching guys and see you on the next update. Adios.